Hi friends, it's Drea and I'm here for my week 53 update since my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery that I had done last year, April 20th, 2015. 53 weeks out and feeling really good. Do not regret my decision to have weight loss surgery. Love my life. It hasn't ever been better, really. I feel like a whole new person and I am a whole new person. I mean, literally I'm half of myself. Um, I've lost 163 pounds as of my one year and yeah, that's great. Uh, literally 50% of myself. So let's go ahead and get to my stats. As of last week, I was 167.8 um, at my one year, which is only a couple week, couple days later. On the 20th of April, I was 162.8. And as of yesterday, I was 161.6, which means I lost 6.2 pounds this last week. Wow. Um, now, given I did go on vacation and I did gain the five pounds and I lost the five pounds while doing the cleanse. Uh, which was all liquid diet, so um, that kind of makes sense right there. But to go from 162.8 down to 161.6, you guys can see I'm still losing weight, so that's really good. Um, I will say that I haven't worked out in two weeks, which is unlike me. I really don't like not working out. Um, but yeah, just the way my schedule fall, fell, and I know excuse after excuse after excuse, but I'm excited to get back into it today. Cannot wait. Um, so I'll be doing a skin flick as well after so that y'all can see um, what I'm working with because I want to get into the working out before my daughter gets back from her friend's house. Um, I'm feeling a little bit flabby. I'm not feeling as strong as I did, and I felt so much stronger whenever I was working out three to four times a week, so I'm hoping to get back into that. Being a year out, um, my next move is to pretty much stick to my new low carb lifestyle. Um, I originally have been saying ketogenic, 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 but I realized that my body um, with so much higher fat and my protein was getting a little bit too much higher. Um, 80 grams, usually on a ketogenic diet, you have to have moderate protein. So they're thinking, you know, anywhere between 50 to 75 grams. I was hitting 80 to 100 and that will knock you out of ketosis. So I'm just going to live more low carb lifestyle. Yes, I will not care about fat as much. Um, my protein will be staying between 80 and 100 grams. And my carbs, even though on my fitness pal, which that's, um, I believe it's Una Drea, Uno Drea 3732 is my name on my fitness pal. Even though it does say I'm about 40 grams, I do 30, I do between 20 and 30 net carbs, and I don't like seeing a negative number on that spectrum on my fitness path. I don't like seeing that, so I put it up to like 40 something grams so that I can minus the fiber and always see that I'm not technically over my carbs for the day. I just don't like seeing all red. Anyways. So I'll be sticking to that with diet wise. I will be sticking for the rest of my life three to four times a week um, on working out. I'll be doing Jillian Michaels, probably um, some cardio, of course. Uh, I really need to get into weights, really need to get in weights. The 30 day shred, however, does have some weights in there. So I don't know. That's a little bit of something, right? And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get on to some things that happened this last week, um, things that I did not talk about whenever I went on the trip with Paris, NSVs that happened. I sat in a middle seat um, and the airplane was completely comfortable. I actually like flying now. That's something different. Um, I sat in a chair on the um, by the pool and... <laughs> I had plenty of room on each side. I didn't have to have my arms hanging over and I actually felt a little bit too big. I was able on a love seat, three of uh, me and two other family members were able to sit on there. That would be never done when I was 326 pounds. Uh, just so many, my life has changed so much since the surgery and I, I'm so thankful to Andrea at 326 pounds that decided to have the surgery. I will never look back on who I was in, in shame. I mean, I love her just as much as I love myself now. She is me, but 
and she will always be up here. This, this uh, 326 pound woman may not look like this, but it feels like this in the inside sometimes. So I want to give a shout out to you <laughs> for making that choice. I know, I know it seems so weird. Um, cravings, they do slip back in. And if you feel like you need to do a restart, then do one. I did one. Um, I did not do the pouch test like some people do. I did a cleanse and my cravings have been gone. I don't really have any cravings. Yes, I can talk about food that I ate like Cheez-Its and Ruffles and all that stuff and chips. And yes, I can make the decision to grab that off the shelf, but there's something more holding me back now. I don't have those cravings to do that grab and put it in the cart. Um, so that's really great. And I'm thankful for that cleanse. Uh, I did try oatmeal, as you guys probably know, and my best friend knows I've been so looking forward to eating oatmeal. It's very anticlimactic. Apparently, I don't like oatmeal anymore. Uh, just the texture is off. Like, yeah, didn't really know. Um, so, my birthday is next week. I'm getting old. <laughs> I turned 31. And I know, not old, I know, I know. Um, but, so, with my birthday coming up, my husband and I can never resist on not giving each other our gifts until our birthday. We can't wait. We can never wait. I don't know why we're like that. My mom, if she's watching, she's like, oh, how immature. She always is like that. So my husband um, got me. Look at them babies. Look. I haven't worn them yet, so don't get weirded out. Um, Yeah. Look at my new shoes. Aren't those badass? Okay. I almost cried whenever he gave them to me. And I, and I almost cried again because my family gave me this for my birthday as well, which is the Vivo Smart HR. It has a heart rate monitor in there, so I don't have to strap anything to my chest. Um, it's amazing. As of right now, my heart rate is at 72, and my resting average is 53, which I looked up that number and what it should be. I should be, um, actually, they say athletic people are anywhere between 50 and 70. I thought that was awesome. So, reasons why I cried, it's not because I'm an emotional person, it's because my life now is about being healthy and it means so much to me that not only do I have the support of the weight loss surgery community, but I, and weight loss community period, um, you don't have to have the surgery just to pretty much be a support system for somebody else that has or has not. If we're all doing the same thing, we're all here to lose weight, we're all here to be fit and healthy and and have a new life and, and take the most of our second chance that we've given each other. Um, so it means so much to me that my family is here to support me on this journey and Working out is such a huge part of my life now. I know I haven't worked out in two weeks, but it literally is a huge part of my life. I look forward to it. I can't wait to uh, get back into it this week. And yeah, so it means so much to me. And it's not only because I was drinking. Um, and it's, you know, I mean, I wasn't drinking when my husband gave me these awesome shoes. So um, yeah, it just means so much. So a big shout out to my family. Thank you guys so much for being there for me um, through my ups and downs, especially to my husband, my rock. Uh, I'm so sorry for all the shit I've put you through <laughs> in the last 11 years, but uh, hopefully I'm making up for it now. Um, so yeah, um, I do want to talk about one thing is weigh-ins. And what does that all mean now? Um, being a year out and the fact that it's about to be summertime and I'm about to be a little bit more social. Do I really want to have my weigh-ins on Sundays? And and even though my anniversaries or whatever is on Monday, I really feel like I may change that. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, that's a cop-out so you can eat whatever the hell you want. It may be. But I will tell you that... It's all about keeping this fit up here. And if you feel like you um, want to have a better weigh-in, if you want to see a better number and you know damn well you have a better number on a Wednesday, then hell, weigh in on a Wednesday. Because if you see that number and the number makes you feel good and it stops you from eating shit, why not, right? Um, 
I'm not doing it because I'm not doing it because of the fact that how do I want to say this I am doing it to keep my sanity pretty much and the fact that it is becoming summer and there's a lot of things that happen on Saturdays and Sundays in my family and I don't want to be held back anymore like I want to live life now it's all about an 80 20 life okay a day and a half of bad eating is an 80 20 life and I'm not saying I want to eat bad and eat out and eat junk and whatever but if there's a social gathering and I want to have um Alfredo uh I don't want to have to think oh I can't really have that because I have a weigh-in tomorrow I don't want the scale to keep ruling my life. Now it's time for me to take charge and I am going to change him to Saturdays. I'm going to do my weigh in on Saturday morning so that I have um, all week to do what I need to do to be fit, to be healthy. Some people won't agree with that. That's fine. But this is my life. And this is how I'm going to live it. So Saturdays, I'm going to start weighing in. Um, I may report back on Monday still. Um, I plan on reporting uh, weekly as long as I have something to talk about. And trust me, there's a lot of things that are going to go on in the next year. So I'm pretty excited uh, that everybody will be hopefully following me on that. And I can hopefully follow other people. I know this is getting long. Sorry. You know, guys, I can't keep it short ever, it seems like. Thank you to everyone that has been following me. It means so much to me. Y'all are my heart. I mean, you guys have it in your hands and um, hopefully you don't crush it and throw it away. But anyhow, hope you guys have a great week. I'll be doing my skin flick and yeah. So see you guys in a minute. Bye.